really what the union is, it's about respecting us as professional educators. And when you look at something like Janice, um, it's not about the law and, and whether you're forced to be a part of a union. What it boils down to is a couple of billionaires that are trying to make their huge bank accounts even bigger. state cut funding to a lot of districts and our district in particular was going to lose several million dollars and they were going to have to cut our specials classes you know all the things that make school awesome they came to the teachers and said will you agree to freeze your salaries the superintendent said we'll get this money back to you please just help us out so we did and um when we found out that they offered us a hundred and fifty dollar stipend instead of the thousands of dollars in back pay, um, our hearts sunk. It was a very easy decision to really all band together and uh, show them what we're worth. We immediately decided that day to work to the rule. We came in together. And, and we left together. It was a pretty powerful statement. It gave us a solidarity, a camaraderie, and it told the administration that we were gonna to stick together. Working to the rule really showed what sticking together can do. We went from an offer of $150 stipend up to getting almost all of our, our back pay back. That's Dabula. And then what about this? That is the time that I really knew that the power of the union and why it's so necessary. It's not just a big district thing or a big company thing. Together we really made a difference. Our union is um, about 85 members, so we are a close-knit kind of almost family and we stick together. The DeVosses and the, the Koch brothers and people like them, you know, they're they're scared of the unions. The unions stop them from making more money. People want to be a part of the union. We want to be respected. We want to stay together and uh, fight for what's right for us and for our students. I fully expect to have 100% membership just like we do now.